What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. So cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum has really gotten huge this last year or so. It's so big that you won't even get your hands on any AMD graphics cards. Literally the RX 400 and 500 series are sold out almost everywhere. Even here in South Africa, one of the suppliers sold over 500 to a single miner, which is crazy. So the reason cryptocurrencies is so popular now is because of how easy it is to mine and how profitable it is. One Bitcoin is $2,800 and Ethereum is $260. So that's a lot of money just for something you mine in your spare time. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to start Bitcoin mining. I'm firstly going to focus on Bitcoins because it's the easiest to get at the moment. So I'm going to tell you guys how to do this at home with your PC, your gaming PC. You can just leave it there. It does everything on its own. You literally don't have to do anything. Just pay the electricity bill. That's, that's all. Okay, so before starting, let's quickly take a look at the Bitcoin price. So at the moment, it's going for $2,880. It actually went up like just a second ago with $5, which is pretty crazy. It's just, it keeps going up. Um, so just to show you guys, today it almost reached $3,000. So that's just today. Uh, let's take the last, let's take the last year. Let's just check how that spiked. It's going crazy now. Uh, let's quickly check out Ethereum as well. So it started at like $14, $10, $11, and then it just shot up, which is pretty crazy. So Ethereum is also not bad to mine. The only thing is we're going to mostly focus on uh, the NiceHash miner, which mines in uh, Bitcoins. So that's, but you can also do this if you really wanted to. So next up, let's quickly take a look at the what to mine Com. So this is also just to show you guys how many different type of coins there are. There's literally thousands of them. Um, so these are just the ones that's currently the most profitable. So for instance, that one, but just you don't have really have to worry about these. I'm just going to show you guys. So there's NiceHash. It's really going strong with NiceHash at the moment. Um, then the, there's Ethereum also, also growing. But next up, let's take a look at NiceHash the miner. Okay, so to start mining, you're going to need the NiceHash miner. So you can just go to NiceHash.com and click on the cell hashing power. So once there, you can just click on the NiceHash miner over here. Click on that. You're going to download and then you're just going to install the program. Okay, and then once you've opened the program, you will see this. This is the NiceHash miner. You'll see up here your, the server location. I just personally use the Amsterdam one. You can see your Bitcoin address over there and your worker names. You can change that if you want to. And then also you see your, G, your CPU and the GPU, which you can mine with. Sometimes you won't see a CPU, um, it, which it doesn't support. Uh, but personally, you're not going to see, you cannot... But personally, you're not going to mine with your CPU because it's just going to be a waste. You're going to mine with the GPU. So just to, uh, all you have to do is literally create a wallet, which I'll show you guys now. And then you're just going to start. So then once it starts, you'll actually see down here the global rate, your, how much you're making per day. So I'm making about $3 per day, uh, your balance at the moment, and then how much USD that is. So that's just for a week though. So literally it keeps out for a week and then pays you out. So it went a bit up, almost 3.3. So literally that's all you have to do. You just start mining like that. Um, so how it works, it, it uses different algorithms to mine with so it actually mines ethereum as well and then like zcash as well and then it converts that into bitcoins and then pays you out in bitcoin because bitcoin is the most popular um, with some of the miners with some of the programs you can actually see your temperatures your usage and how much power you're using so that's just a nice indicator but anyway, let's quickly check out uh, the rest of the settings. So first off, when you're going to start, it's going to ask you to uh, run a benchmark to see how much you're going to make. Um, so these are the different algorithms you can use. Some GPUs don't have all of them. So uh, personally, I find that QHash, uh, Library, and Lyra mine is the best for me. So you can just run that. And then that's pretty much all you get. 
your additional settings, your uh, address again, worker name, blah, blah, blah. And then also uh, the different algorithms you can select to run with. So that's pretty much it for the miners, pretty straightforward. So now I'm quickly gonna show you guys how to create your own Bitcoin wallet. Okay, so to create your own Bitcoin wallet, you can use the link in the description. It's an affiliate link that will take you to Wirex. So the affiliate link will help me and also help you. Uh, if you use that, you're gonna get 25% off on your Bitcoin card. So the Bitcoin card is actually literally a debit card you can use to draw money at an ATM or just swipe in store. So that's really, really awesome. Um, I'm personally ordering one now and I'll make a video once it arrives. So all you do is literally register for free you're gonna put in all your details and everything blah 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 and that's pretty much it so once done you're gonna come here and you can see um, all your bitcoins how much you've made and then also this is gonna be the where anything happens so when you've got money when you uh, spent money it's just gonna show here so at the moment today I was paid out by NYSASH and I made 0 0.03 Bitcoins, just to round that off. Um, so that's just for the week. So that's about an $85, around about there. So that's not bad for just a week of work and for doing nothing. So uh, you can also see here, I've got 0.15 Bitcoins I've made. That's about $420. So that's not bad for actually doing nothing. Um, so you can also create uh, your virtual card, which you can go use in some online stores like eBay and uh, Amazon. And then also you can order your Bitcoin card, which is about when I ordered was about $11. So if you use my affiliate link, you'll get 20%, 25% off, which isn't bad. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I'll just make a video once it arrives just to actually show you guys if it works and if not. But luckily, if you create the, the Wirex account and you find it's not useful, you can just transfer all your money to a different wallet so that you won't be stuck just on Wirex. It's just going to cost a small transaction fee. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the wallet. Now I'm just quickly going to show you guys actually how much your cards will make. So let's, for instance, say you have a GTX 1063 gig which some uh, like one I have now. So down here, you can add electricity cost as well. I don't pay electricity, so I don't really care. I put it on the lowest it can go, on zero. Um, so you can add it there. So let's say it's just 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And then let's quick calculate. And then it's gonna show you actually how much you can make. So this is your clean income. It's like uh, for the 24 hours, you're gonna make $3.6. And then power cost is gonna be about 24 cents, which isn't a lot. That's a profit of $3.38 per day. So let's take that in a month. That's about $107 profit. Oh, that's $107 income and a hundred dollars profit so for doing nothing you can get a hundred dollars so that's literally you can pay off the 1060 literally you can pay it off in 75 days if you run it straight so you can see the algorithms that's gonna make you the most money so but luckily nice hash does everything for you so you literally don't have to do anything uh we can quickly take a look at the the AMD card, so let's quickly take the RX 5, 580 for instance. So they do use a bit more power, so you can see up here the cost and the power. The 1060 uses about 100 watts, and it costs a bit more though, so just keep that in mind. But you can pay this one off in 77 days. Uh, so the 1060 is actually ca catching up to the card, which is really nice. And then also you can go up to, let's say, I personally have a 980 as well. You can calculate that. And then that makes also about $3. So around about 30, they usually make about $3, but you have to calculate in the cost of the card and then also the power. So this one's gonna take 150 days, so literally twice as long just to pay off. So you can just come to the NiceHash Profit Calculator. It's literally down here on NiceHash's website. And then you can just add your card here. It does have a few different ones. So one of my old cards was a 650 Ti. Uh, I can literally show you guys you don't make anything on that. So come here just to check before you start. Um, so I would say if you have a GTX 970 or higher, you can actually do it. Uh, lower than that, you're not really gonna make th that much. Uh, GTX 
a 960 it's going to make you about 1.5 which really isn't that much so i would rather say if you have a newer card or a, or a stronger older card so i can quickly show you guys the 1050 ti as well um, that's about two dollars so that's also you pay it off in 72 days so that's pretty nice and then once you've started mining and everything, you can see how much you actually make. Uh, this is your statistics, your, your wallet address and everything that will show you how much you make. So at the moment, I make about $7 a day and I have made $2 today, $2.4 just for today. So here you can see how much you've made. That's where the payout uh, mark is. So I was paid out at 12 and then this is the rest I made. So you can also see the next payout is gonna be um, about $48 if I keep at my current mining. And then for the daily income, you'll see that. That's, so that's just a rough calculation of how much you will make. So like I said, the nicest miner is just so easy to work with. You literally don't have to do anything. It does literally everything for you. So you just sit back, you just mine, uh, and you just have to unfortunately pay for electricity. Uh, but that's kind of all. So again, you just create a wallet, you download nicest miner, you just say start, and there you make money. So there is still a lot of stuff you have to consider like the exchange and where you actually have to exchange your money, your, your Bitcoin into real world money if you don't use Wirex where you can actually get a card. So that's a bit of an issue and then also your hardware. So it does reduce the lifespan of your hardware and then you're gonna, if you want to go into bigger stuff, you're gonna need a dedicated miner. So that's also a lot of money you're gonna spend but I am going to buy a few cards just to start mining. want to get a six card rig. So I'm going to go into a lot more detail later on. This is just literally to show you guys how to start mining and get some money. So again, it's relatively simple to do this. Uh, I hope this video is actually easy enough for you to follow. I'll see how it actually goes. My first like tutorial video almost. So please let me know in the uh, comments below guys. Okay, so then also you can, if you want to donate some Bitcoins to me, you can donate like 0 0.0001 Bitcoin if you really wanted to. Um, it's just going to help me out a bit. I'll leave my wallet address down below. So you just go on Wirex and you just say send money and then you just use my uh, my wallet. So that's pretty much it. Um, also, if you are looking to buy some graphics cards to mine with, you can go check out Rebel Tech. You can get some very nice offers there as well. So just make sure it has at least two fans because sometimes they do get a bit hot. So just make sure they have enough cooling. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's it for my video of how to start Bitcoin mining. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Also, if you if you started Bitcoin mining, please let me know how you find it. If it's actually worth it to you. Because personally, I found it very profitable for me. Uh, it's very easy to do and you just make money. So that's great. But yeah, tell me guys what you find of it. And also, you can go watch my video where I built my new Ryzen system. And where I reviewed the new Corsair RGB memory. And reviewed a GTX 1080 from ASUS so you can watch all that also and then also if you have questions about bitcoins or anything else you just want to ask me you can ask me on Twitter or in the comments below um, again yeah you can follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook and then also you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel we do stuff I'm trying I'm gonna try to post more videos there as well I'm gonna make that like just my second channel but anyway that's it thanks for watching guys and I'll check you guys next time Cheers, guys.